All right, what's up, y'all? So we are out here at Newport Beach in California. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been to Newport Beach, but I have been to California. I love this place. Literally was at a coffee shop, started looking at apartments. So you never know, might end up relocating. But I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing with Modest Muscle um, and also just kind of like where my heart is with this brand shift. So I really wanna focus on uh, producing content that's gonna help with confidence, like self-confidence, loving who you are, because I think honestly that's a huge part of your fitness journey is loving yourself enough to be consistent with, your, with the process. A lot of times we give up because we're not seeing results fast enough or um, you know things are it's, it's challenging and we don't trust that it's gonna be worth it but we're willing to go to great lengths for other people so I want to make sure that the people that you know are working with me and watching my content are also going to those same lengths for themselves so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my journey with confidence recently and um, yeah let's go so some of you may have noticed that I've been going through quite a bit of an appearance change. Um, I had a blonde pixie cut before, and now I have long brown hair. So about a year ago, uh, I started having my hair fall out, and I thought it was stress-related, kind of coming out of a toxic relationship. So um, I got a haircut, and I ended up getting like bad haircuts for a full year. So every time I got a haircut to fix it, it pretty much made it worse. And so I ended up just saying, forget it, just cut it all off, did a pixie cut. Um, and then I couldn't wait until I could actually grow my hair back out again because I didn't, I didn't like it, I didn't feel beautiful. So I went to go see my friend Katie at Abstract Studio in Frisco and um, I asked her how long I had to wait before I could get extensions. So she told me, I waited, colored my hair, got extensions in and then I realized, oh, this isn't who I am anymore. <laughs> and it's so funny because it was literally having to cut all my hair off and being forced to do that that made me come into my style, learn how I want to present myself, and also learn, you know what? If the reason that I wanted to grow my hair out was because I didn't want to be perceived a certain way or I didn't want people to assume I was a lesbian because that happened when I had my short hair, that's not really a, a good reason. And I feel like the personality that you know I was able to show with short, bold, edgy hair actually reflected who I was a lot more. So now it's been like two months maybe, eight weeks, something like that. And I already wanna get my extensions taken out, not because I don't think they look good. Katie did an amazing job. I have crazy short hair and it looks like I have long hair, but you know, it, didn't, it doesn't fit my personality anymore. So I'm actually really grateful for that time because it taught me a lot of really important lessons. And one of the most valuable ones is that I can actually relate to my weight loss clients a lot more now. Um, you know, when you're trying to grow your hair out, it's like, okay, you can take hair vitamins, you can take biotin, you can, you know, use conditioner, not wash your hair, <laughs> do it every other day, whatever. But really you have to wait and you have to just trust the process and trust that it's growing. And so even if you're not confident where it's at, not much you can do, you just have to grow it out. And it's the same thing with, you know, your fitness journey and weight loss. If you start and you're overweight, if you're eating right and you're getting in the gym and you're getting accountability, even if you don't love how you look, you still have to show up to the gym, you still have to put in the work and you still have to trust the process and you have to trust that you're gonna be okay with the end result because you're doing everything that you can to get the result that you want. So just like I couldn't let not liking the way that I looked physically stop me from getting business, posting on social media, talking about my journey, you can't let the way that you look stop you from reaching your goals either. And so I had to decide, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna say I don't care how I look, I don't care if I don't like the way I look, I'm gonna put my insecurities out there, I'm gonna make it known, and I'm gonna make it known that I'm doing everything that I can, and then I'll do everything that I can, and from there, that's all I can do. So learn to push past your insecurities, be open about your insecurities, and you might find someone that you can help in the process. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today and checking out California with me. I hope y'all had a great time. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See y'all next time. Bye.